about barbering secrets? Well, for success, this is a secret for success. I tend to text all my clients that I have in my phone are, you know, my database as far as Facebook, Instagram, things like that, and let them know when I'm leaving town, when I should be back, and what's my schedule before I leave town. And you will be surprised that if you do that as well, how many of your clients really appreciate that, how that makes them feel important, and how much they will respect you more. Another barber tip and secret is that if you're gonna, if you have clients where you have, you know, straight hair, and I know the comb over is probably one of the big things right now, comb over and pumps, you know, you could use blade glide when you're cutting hair. And it'll, it'll actually give you a nice haircut and it makes, makes it easier on your tools as well. So that's another little secret, fellas. So this is the second secret that I talked about here. This is the blade glide, and if you're doing like a lot of pumps and a lot of comb overs and things of that nature, I would say use this here, spray it in uh, before you go into the cut. It equalizes the porosity in the hair, so it actually makes your tools slide through and saves, saves your tools. And if you want this barber tip and secret, go to jatai.net. This is the place where you can find it. You will not find this in your local beauty supplies. You will not find this anywhere else. So jatai.net is the place where you can locate this. And for number three, I prefer to use my Wood DX razor before I actually do a lineup with my uh, trimmers. This is the magic trick right here. See this? This is the guy that gives you great success. So I would use this razor here, the DX wood handle, on the edge of tie that net. And what I do is actually use this razor here and line my clients up with, you know, the blade glide prior to, and then I'll go back in with my trimmers and actually finish it off. And the reason why I do it that way is because it's exfoliating the skin and giving a clean slate so that when you go back in with your trimmers, they don't have to work through anything that was, any dirt or anything left on the skin because your razor actually went through before and did it prior to that. And once you do that to your guests, your guests will love it. I say give it away, complimentary, probably once or twice. And then once you hook them, then that's when you charge them for it the next time. So just be mindful of that. You gotta give some stuff away in order to be successful.